Barbie is everywhere right now. Like seriously, have you been to a mall lately? So you're probably gonna be getting requests for Barbie balloons soon, if you're not already. So let me show you today what I would make if a little kid came up and asked me for a Barbie balloon. I'm gonna be starting off with a peach blush balloon and also a yellow for her blonde hair. These are 260s. I've left about three to four inch tails on both. And I'm gonna start off by just tying these two right together. If you wanna trim off your extra nozzles here, once you tie them together, you can do that. I'm just gonna to try to hide them in somewhere. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is squeeze out my yellow balloon. We're gonna fold it over to make a small little loop for her hair. Behind that loop, we're gonna put a pinch twist. So one small round bubble and twist that around itself for your pinch twist. We're gonna bring the remaining balloons together and we're gonna come down however long you want her face to be. You don't want this to be too long or it starts to look a little silly. So keep it around an inch and a half to two inches, about like that. Once you've got those connected, we're gonna take the yellow back up one side. So you're gonna pick, make your twist, wrap it into that pinch twist, and then bring it back down on the other side of her face to finish out her little hairdo. Now, one thing for Barbie that I do specifically, because she typically has long flowing hair, is I want her to at least have a ponytail. It's hard to do like long locks with balloons, especially in a short line work type design. Um, so for this Barbie, what I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze out my balloon, and as I'm squeezing, I'm pulling it up in between these two side bubbles, pulling it up so it's tucked inside. You can't really see it. It's just like a deflated bit there. We're gonna come up over that pinch twist and then I'm gonna take the balloon and we're gonna kind of wedge it so it's sticking out of these two bubbles. So there's her face, bubble one, bubble two. I'm just gonna pull this and squeeze it as I'm pulling until I can kind of wedge it into these two side bubbles here. We don't wanna bring it all the way down into her neck because that's gonna make things lopsided. We just want it to kind of be coming out the side so that she can have a ponytail, but her head can also still be upright. So once I've got that, I'm gonna just kinda roll this around in my hands, give it some squeeze, give a little bit of curl, a little bit of shape, and you can cut this off however long you want her hair to be. So if this is like Rapunzel Barbie, maybe you want it to be longer. Um, if you're just doing your average everyday Barbie, a little bit shorter, I'm gonna go about that long and we're gonna uh, break that off and tie off the end so you don't lose it. There's her little head. And then if you've got nozzles here, we of course want to tuck those in somewhere to get them out of sight. There's her little head. Okay, so now I'm gonna set that aside for a second and we're gonna work on her outfit. Um, when I think of Barbie, I of course think pink. So I'm gonna be working with two shades of pink. We've got a light bubblegum pink and also fuchsia, my favorite pink. So I'm gonna do the top part of her outfit in light pink and the bottom in fuchsia. So she's gonna be wearing like a nice pretty dress. This is a great design for princesses as well. It can be Princess Barbie. Um, Barbie is a great uh, character because when you get asked for it, you can completely customize it to whatever the kid in front of you wants. Um, so you can ask what color hair do you want your Barbie to have, what color top, what color bottom. Everything can be completely customized. Um, but this is just kind of like your typical Barbie design if I didn't want to give customization options. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do a small round bubble in our bubblegum pink. I've left about three to four inch tails on both of these as well. We've got our small bubble. I'm gonna squeeze it out, do a small loop. Okay, that's gonna be like her shoulder pad. Do the other side, same thing, a small loop to match. And then that's it for the light pink so far. We're gonna come back with her head and we're gonna make a neck. So just a small round bubble. And that neck, we're gonna twist right into the top of here. So just roll it around those shoulder pads <laughs> to get it locked in place there. And don't get rid of the rest because we're gonna use the rest of this for her arms. You can kind of go ahead and squeeze it out. We want this to be a lot thinner when we make her arms. So I'm gonna squeeze it out and kind of stretch my balloon out to make it thin. Ideally, 
if you want to make a really pretty princess or Barbie, you would use a 160 for the arms to make them a little thinner. Um, but this is meant to be like a fast line work design, so we don't want to take the time to add extra balloons if we don't have to. So we're just going to make the 260 kind of look thinner like a 160. But I'm going to leave that there for now. Um, then we can finish off her arms at the end when we see how long we really want them to be. And I'm going to take this light pink. We're going to come down about two inches or so for her torso. And we're going to twist this off where we want that to end. And then get rid of the rest. That was a loud one. All right, and I'm going to hold on to that little tail we have there. And I'm just going to tie my fuchsia balloon directly onto that little tail there. So nice, tight, double knot. All right. So there's her waist, I guess. We're gonna do her dress. So it's just gonna be back and forth on this one. So about five inch bubbles or so, about the size of a hot dog. Bring it back up, twist together. We're gonna come down and I'm gonna make a bubble of the same size. We're gonna roll it through. Roll, sh roll through shouldn't be too hard on this one. So that should be easy to do. Bring your balloon back up to her waist. Twist it in there. Okay, and I really like a six bubble body for dresses like this because it just fills them out. So I'm gonna go one more time, but I'm not gonna try to do a roll through on this one. I'm just going to twist off my bubble where I want it to be. And then we're gonna pull our balloon across the bottom of that dress. And then we're gonna make one last bubble the same size and wrap that into her waist. Okay, so we have got a nice full dress bottom there. And to end this off, what I like to do is to have a little bit of balloon inside the dress to help keep everything full looking. And also so I don't have to knot things around as much. Um, so I'm gonna break this off so that I have just a little bit of balloon left. Tie that off. And then I'm gonna take that bubble and we're just gonna put it right inside and that just kind of keeps everything tight and straight and helps her stand up perfect. Okay, so now we have this. We've just got to finish her arms now. So I'm gonna get these two loops or her shoulder pads out in front. We want the arms to be coming from the back towards the front. So it's gonna start off behind the shoulder pads. So get this back here, right by your pink bubble back here. And we're gonna fold it around as we're squeezing for an elbow. When you get to the middle of her waist area, you're gonna go ahead and make a twist. So there's one arm, and we're gonna do the same thing coming back to the pink bubble in the back behind her shoulder pads. You want her arms to be about the same length if possible. It's always good to be symmetrical, I guess, but not required. <laughs> Once you get it back, you're gonna wrap it around that pink bubble back here and you can now get rid of the rest of this balloon and tie it off. Usually I don't tie this off, I actually just wrap it around a shoulder pad or two to secure it and keep it in place. There you have a pretty, pretty Princess Barbie. Um, you might find that you can um, change which way her torso is facing to get you a better look at the end of this. So if your Barbie's kind of like leaning sideways or maybe she's really leaning far back like this, it's because of the way we attached the two different colors for her dress. And so if you find this, just try turning her around and she'll be a little bit straighter facing the other direction. So um, that's a little trick. You can also try bending, giving her elbows a little bit more sharper of a bend and that can help with any pulling backwards that you might have. So she's got a nice straight princess posture. Okay, and then if you wanna play with the hair a little bit more, give it some more curl or shape, whatever you wanna do. And then I would typically cut off this little bit here. Isn't that adorable? Now, to finish this off, if you do have some extra time, you're not at a super fast, crazy line work event, I like for Barbie to add a little bow in her hair. She just seems like the kind of girl that would be into bows. I'm gonna take this 160 and we're gonna make two very small loops, as small as you can get them. So there's my little one loop. I'm gonna take the nozzle and we're gonna push it through the middle of that loop so that it doesn't come undone on us. And then I'm gonna make another loop matching. Two loops here. 
And then right in the middle of our loops, I'm gonna take my whatever here, I'm gonna make a small bubble and make that into a little pinch twist. And there is our little bow for her hair. So to attach this, I'm gonna get rid of the rest of my balloon, leaving myself a nice long tail. And I've played around with adding this up here on the side of her top part of her hair. And I think it's really cute. I also think it would be cute right um, at the top part of her um, little ponytail or even on the back side of this pinch twist. I think it would be really cute as well in the back. So play around with that, whatever you think looks good for today's video. I'm just gonna do it up here, kind of towards the top part of her face. So I'm gonna place the bow where I want it, take the tail and just kind of wrap it around something back here and then hook it around one of the loops in your bow again to lock it in and hide your tail. So we're gonna go kind of off to the side at the top of her face for this Barbie. Um, so that's a, just a fun little add-on you can do that really makes it look extra special like Barbie because Barbie is always extra special and fancy. <laughs> All right, for the face, this can be a little bit more advanced if you're not great at drawing. Um, I do really love some of the stickers that you can use to um, just pop the face on without having to draw anything. But I'm gonna show you on this video today how I would draw Barbie's face. I'm gonna start with a blue Sharpie since she is a blonde. This one's gonna have blue eyes and I'm not gonna do like huge eyes. Those are really cute, but they're not exactly Barbie. She's just got more like normal person shaped eyes. They're not huge like Japanese style or anything. So I'm gonna try to control myself and keep these a little bit on the smaller side. So I'm just gonna do two blue dots, okay? It's gonna be the blue part of her eyes. And then I'm gonna come in with my black Sharpie and I'm going to do a line off the top of those eyes out to the side. Kind of curve it out there when you get to the end and then try to match it on the other side as much as possible. And then from the outside edge here, we're gonna come down towards the bottom of the eye, just a little, just a little line like that. Oop, oops. That one didn't go quite as well as I wanted it to. <laughs> I'm gonna fix it. We're gonna go like that. Okay, I'm gonna fix that part. You won't see it. <laughs> I'm gonna do some eyelashes while I have my black out now. I'm just gonna do like three little eyelashes on the top part and some little bits on the bottom. Just look at this eye. <laughs> and for the nose, I'm gonna do a line and a dot little line and a dot there and that's it for the black well no it's not we're gonna do the black part of the eye the circle so one black circle just make sure that black circle doesn't cover up all of the blue on the side of the eye there you go all right now we're done with the black sharpie for her eyebrows i like to use brown this is just a little nitpicky thing you could totally use black but since she's blonde typically they'd have lighter colored Eyebrows, so just some brown eyebrows I think works good. And for the mouth, I'm gonna do a pink Sharpie. And Barbie doesn't have huge lips usually, it's not a Bratz doll. So I'm gonna try to keep these a little bit on the thinner side. I'm not great at drawing lips, but I do my best. Something like that. I know it looks silly. That's because we really need the white to finish this all off. So get yourself some of these Posca paint pens. You can get them on Amazon, very affordable. And these go on top of Sharpie artwork, great. So I'm gonna do white dots on the eyes first. Just one nice little dot up in the corner of each black circle, like that, already looking better. You can do little dots off to the side if you think that looks good. And then Barbie's always got her pretty shiny teeth showing. So I'm just gonna do a line kind of right in the middle of her lips. Dun, dun, dun. 
And then the other thing I would do with the white is fill in these little corners on the side of her eye. We wanna put some white there and that will really help brighten up her eye area. Ta -da -da! So there we have our pretty little Barbie girl in her pretty little Barbie dress. Uh, hope you guys like this one. I love this design for putting on sticks because it makes everything easier to hold for the parents who eventually have to end up holding these the whole event. And so it's just a nice little twirly whirly Barbie on a stick. Uh, super fun. I am drawing some clip art for this even though it's very similar to a princess design. I'm going to draw a specific Barbie clip art for you guys. So if you want to add this to your menus, you can put it on there and have it say Barbie, or maybe I'll just put doll. <laughs> I don't know if I'll get in trouble for putting Barbie, um, but I'll put it up on the website so you can get it. Or if you're a member of the Twister Hood, you can get access to all my clip art images. Every time I add a new one, it's there in the vault and you can just go in and grab it, included with your membership. So you don't have to keep buying new stuff all the time. You can just log in and get it along with the other weekly goodies that we put out for balloon artists to help you run your business and do things more efficiently and not have to think so much about like the marketing side and the picture side. Like I take care of a lot of that stuff for you guys. And that is in our Twister Hood membership. We'd love to have you join us. So if you're interested in learning more about it, there's a link down below this video so you can get more info. Let me know if you plan on making any Barbie designs, if you've already been asked for Barbies at your events. I'd love to see pictures of your Barbie balloons. You can post those in our free Facebook group. We'd love to have you join us there. I check in there often during the week just to see what you guys are making. Um, so please feel free to post pictures of your work in there. I'll be hanging out in there until next week when I'm back for another free photo. <sighs> Until next week when I'm back for another free tutorial for you guys here on YouTube. Hope to see you then. Bye everyone. Have a great week.